Welcome to another Fintel for Equity Release Professionals video. This video looks at the main menu of the program and the configuration of the system. Hi, this is a video showing how the Fintel main menu operates. The main menu, as the mouse pointer is showing you, are these sections on the top. Some of them are only live when the program is in the middle of a calculation or an assessment. We'll talk about those options when we look at that part of the videos. Starting with the case menu at the top left here, you'll see that there are a number of options on a drop down. New is where you start a new case. Recent is where the list of cases that you've been working on most recently will appear, making it easier for you if you're going back and forward and using a case frequently. You can see here the list that I have for my demonstration and testing purposes. Open, well open cases in the main Fintel saved case directory and I just select from there. Review is going to be live when I'm in a case or have loaded a case, it allows me to go through the whole case seeing what answers I've put in in sequence. Save allows me to save a case with the existing name. If I don't have a name because it's the first time it's been saved, then it will ask me to give it a name. Save as will appear when I've got a case which already has a name and I want to change it, I will use save as. Close simply closes it down. Tools is where I can do things like managing case files, archiving case files and clearing that list of recent cases. It's also where I can configure the setup of the program. You would normally only need to do this once. Walking through it, if I click on configure, the first question asks me for the default UK country from the four home nations. The reason for this is that each of the countries can have a different calculation, particularly of council tax reduction or rate rebates in Northern Ireland. If I choose England, then I'll be asked a second question about which local authority. Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland have national schemes. England has local schemes for each relevant local authority. If I choose England, then it will ask me which council I want to use as the default. That doesn't mean that that's the only council it will work with, but every local authority in England can have its own distinctly different council tax scheme. This lets me choose the one that I will most commonly work with from the list of all the English local authorities. When I'm doing an individual calculation, I can always choose a different local authority if the client is in a different area. Here I'll pick Eastbourne and that will be used as the default authority when I run through every case from now on. But I can always change it and I can come back to the configuration routine and change the default as well. Standard mortgage interest rate I can put in there. Whether to disregard all widows pension income. Most authorities uh, do disregard all war widows pension income but there are some that don't and here I can change from my default case whether they do or not. If I want to choose a different web browser to see the output files then I can choose that here by looking at which of the web browsers I have and picking one from those. I won't bother going through them. If I encrypt case files then it will ask me for a password and those case files will only be openable if I use the password. I leave that as a no for convenience. If I want to show pop-up hints then that will be the case if I leave this at yes and you can see the pop-up for the yes one there. If I change it to no that sort of pop-up won't appear anymore. If I want to use a screen reader, because I have a visual disability, then this is where I would say yes. Whether I want to use the return key to move on to the next question, 
or if I want to make sure that I can only move on by using the next button then I would say no there to the return key being able to move me on to the next question. Case notes the program allows you to enter case notes and this is where I would decide whether I want to see them when I open an existing case. The accommodation type default very typical range of accommodation types, a very wide range here but for the purposes of equity release the default will be set to owner occupier. So that's the configuration now set and you see at the bottom of the screen that it has saved it. The other thing on the case menu of course is exit. I can leave the program there. There are keyboard shortcuts for many of these and you can see them also on the menu there. Control O, Control S, Control A. The amend menu will only appear when I'm in a case and it allows me to change uh, the details of the client's information by section rather than having to go through the whole of the program. Output is where I see the options for uh, looking at the calculation and the assessments. Database allows me to save the information um, in a more structured way. Forecast we will look at. This is the way in which equity release impact on benefits is uh, assessed. And the help file. There are a number of areas within the help file that uh, are important. General help will pop up a screen telling you how to use the program. Always useful to remember that. The index is the index for the context sensitive help. Context sensitive help means that for every question in the program there will be a separate piece of help information that is relevant to that question. If you want to just use the index as a way into effectively a mini encyclopedia um, of benefit information then you can choose to open the index and go through the range of um, help files and help information that's there or to search for something. Release notes will let you see what the uh, latest changes to the program have been. Update check is where we can check to see if there is uh, an update to the program. It will normally tell you that an update is available. Um, if it is you can choose to update it automatically. I'll check that when I finish um, this video. The Ferret website takes you to the Ferret website. The quick start and the worked example are documents showing you how to work through the program and a worked uh, calculation example that walks you through a demonstration case. That may not always have been updated um, for the latest amounts and rules um, but it will allow you to walk through a case completely. These other areas are reckoners. They are quick calculation routines outside the main program um, that are useful and sometimes important um, but would make the program more complex if they were always asked about because they're only relevant in a smaller proportion of cases. They cover the notional income which works out somebody's um, income that will be taken into account for benefit purposes from untaken pension savings once they're over pension age. A calculator from net income to the gross um, before tax was deducted a calculator for emergency tax and that will um, calculate the liability on the first month typically of things like pension payments and a calculator for the number of bedroom entitlements that there are for people who um, are renting accommodation. About tells you what the version number of the, the program is. So I will now do an update check because I know that there is an update available for this version of the program and show you how the program updates itself. It tells me it's found an update to version 2.6.1 and asks me whether I want to download it and apply that update. These updates appear automatically um, as long as you're using a computer connected to the internet. You can see here that it's downloading the update. 
this only takes a few seconds. shows me where my program is kept, which are part of the start menu I wanted to appear in, and then will allow me to install it. Here we can see the um, initial information about the release note. It tells me where to look for the release note here. It allows me to finish the setup. That completes this video. Don't forget to look at the others in the series of how to use Fintel for equity release professionals.